It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Well, we're now on to Jackpot 2, race number 5, 2,000 metres the distance. Need to get your bets on by 14.35. At the time of recording, number nine, 10 is out. That's Eventador. Horses in single figures, Warren. Number 1 at 4 to 1, 2 at 4 to 1. 3, Aerial Display at 7 to 1. 4, Catch the Tune at 11 to 2. 6, Blazing Light at 9 to 2. 13 to 2, number 7. Papa C, uh, Zacco is at four to one, and then it's double figures, the balance. Yeah, this race with the scratching of 10, so nine runners will go to post. Do you have an outright selection, or you think, you know, you, you need a few horses here? Because it looks like a race, you know, a highly competitive C division handicap where you, know, you can make a case for a few of them here. Yeah. We can make a case for a few of them, and it's so nice to see that one of our favorite horses, Papa C, is running, and uh, he'll never run um, loose with us. He'll always be thrown into our quartets, trifectas, and even a few rand each way because he's, he's a horse that does enough to keep you interested. He's never too far off the action. He beat Cyber Time a couple of starts ago. He beat twice Golden in his penultimate start. His last run behind Rockfall was good, 55 and a half. So Papa C, one of our favorites, he certainly is a horse that will be thrown into all bets. Zacco is lightly raced and uh, it seems to have come even better with blinkers. So Zacco uh, will probably end up being way better than a rated 84. So he has a bright winning chance. Blazing Light could go on and make it three in a row. Catch the Tune could finally end to Frank Robinson's drought as, as far as the winners are concerned. These horses are always there and thereabouts, but they need to have winners and that they'll have soon. Aerial display is another one, D, so you can go on and on. And for me, the value in the race, mm. uh, before I hand over to you, seven Papa C, eight Zacco are the two principles for me. But my value selection is number five, Afropolitan at any old price for uh, the back end of quartets. Yeah, I see uh, Afropolitan uh, used to be with Com. How many runs? That was in February, March. Uh, two runs now with uh, Garrett and uh, he's getting to the bottom of the horse because certainly on his day he's got ability so if you're picking a 20 to 1 shot tells you what you think of the race you're actually picking the biggest outsider in the field here Warren and uh, you know that is an indication of what could happen here in race number five if you have to pick a roving banker it's going to be Zacco you know purely on that last start the way he was finishing I know you know, uh, he was running on and running on too late behind Rockfall, Paul Lafferty's runner, but it's a smaller field, so even though he's poorly drawn, he'll have less horses to pass as they turn into the straight. And then Shavut, Vaughan Marshall's runner. You know, last time out, there was some talk for this horse uh, when uh, racing behind Captain Rocket. In fact, there were a lot of guys that were on course that went for him, but uh, Stuart Ferry's runner was just too good coming off that Turpitz form line. So I'll, I'll choose numbers two and eight. Warren siding with seven, Papa C, and you're always gonna get a solid run for your money. And he makes the value, and this is big value. If this one arrives, it'll be the ideal result for you in the pick six. Number five, Afropolitan, at the time of recording, that's 20 to one. All the best here, race number five, which kicks off jackpot two. Betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.